Hey, hey, Arcaders! Welcome to Sunday Night Streaming with Joshua. I'm Joshua, and uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, just going to give me a quick, my camera, a quick little pushback. There we go. There we go. All right. Anyways, uh, welcome, everyone, to uh, Sunday Night Streaming with Joshua. My name is Joshua, and uh, welcome. Uh, this is week nine of our playthrough uh, through uh, Skyward Sword of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Um, and I'm having a blast uh, playing this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. But oh, oh, before we begin, I, I want to also remind you that uh, this stream is part of the ArcadeArchives.com. So if you go to the ArcadeArchives.com, check that out. Uh, you can actually find uh, and watch uh, all kinds of really cool articles, uh, web comics, and of course our podcast, which uh, is called The Electric Circus, which just recently came out with a brand new episode uh, where we're talking about our history with the Ghostbusters franchise. So if you're a big Ghostbusters fan, uh, you'll totally enjoy that. Um, and um, just here in the near future, we're going to have part two of that episode where we're actually uh, going to be uh, uh, reviewing Ghostbusters Afterlife, which uh, I have just watched recently, and uh, I, I, I want to talk about it here on the stream, because I want to leave my thoughts for for uh, for the podcast, but uh, suffice to say, I did like it, so uh, yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the announcements for uh, this week, so uh, let's get into the gameplay, shall we? All right. So, last week, we were trying to find our way through uh, The Legend of Zelda, um, and we found that I have to go open up a, a thing on the other side here, and it's missing the little circle there. So we need to go and find out where, find this other circle, what, what we need to do with this other circle. So let's get going and get to it, shall we? I came into that. I did that. I keep wanting to press the button to swing. I guess I'm so I'm so used to. Uh... <laughs> oh gosh, I got my. Alright. That's a lot better. Alright, so yeah. Uh, so that's what we did last week. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough of Skyward Sword. Uh, this is week 9. Can you believe it? We've been playing this for 9 months. Two months. Uh, since we came back from my hiatus. Uh, this has been a... a, a, a this has been a huge... Me. I have not actually beaten this game uh, all the way through. I haven't beaten the final boss. Let me, let, me, let me rephrase that. I haven't beaten the final boss. I have beaten pretty much most of the game. I've beaten all the legends. Uh, of course, I don't remember it all because uh, I remember uh, playing this on... And I, I've talked about this on the, on the stream before, but uh, I played this game... Uh, for the Wii, I played the original game. I actually did, this is one of the very few Zelda games I didn't get at launch. Uh, I actually waited until the game was out for a while before I um, got it, so. Uh, but yeah, I was able to play it, and I enjoyed it. My only problem with it was the controls. I got all the way to the end. And I, I know I've shared this on the stream before, but uh, I got all the way to the end of the game, and then uh, uh, everyone's determined to kill me in this game today. Um, I got all the way to the end of the stream, all the way to the end of the game, and then uh, right when I was about to face off with the last, because the, uh, the last boss is actually in a few parts. Uh, I was about to go on the last, the final part, and uh, unfortunately, uh, my power in my apartment went off. And I was so angry, because I had to do the whole thing all over again, that 
<laughs> actually, uh, actually just didn't ever play it again. <laughs> Uh, so this is kind of my time to redeem myself. Uh, hopefully, this time actually beat the game all the way through to the end. So it's one of the very few Zelda games that I have never beaten yet. So uh, I give myself a little bit. I'm just gonna get some stuff real quick on my. So let's continue. Nice. Where are these bats going? Like, this game is determined to kill me right now. <laughs> this is completely determined to kill me. Alright, so now that we know what's missing. I guess we need to find our way back. I believe I put a blue light. There it is. Ha ha ha. Let's get over there. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna need that. I am definitely going to need that. So. I've noticed a lot of you guys uh, uh, have been watching the stream, but uh, only watch it after Sunday. So, I mean, no matter where you watch it, guys, I, I do I, I do very much appreciate you guys watching the stream. and Hope you guys are enjoying it, no matter where you're watching this, if you're watching this right now live, or if you're watching it on uh, YouTube, or even on Twitch after the fact. Thank you so much for watching this, because I have a lot of fun playing these games, and I hope you guys are, are enjoying watching it as much as I am enjoying playing it. Um, I am going to try to... Nope, can't cheat. Can't cheat. Won't let me cheat. Where's my the cheat? It. Okay. Need those little things. Uh, where do these bats come from, man? Oh, so there's bats in there. Luckily, I have a full. That's good. I have a fill. I have a fill. Oh. Oh. Gone, son. Gone. But yeah, so. I had a lot of fun. Let's talk about like some of the cool Zelda games. Like, okay. So. I don't know if I talked about my history with the Zelda franchise. Uh, <laughs> it's tricking bats, yeah. These bats are just all over the place. I don't know where they're coming from. Thank you, Amy. That's my that's my loving wife on the stream here. Hello, my loving wife. Um, okay. So here we are. <laughs> yes, my wife. There we go. So, now that we got that all there. Oh. Where are you? This game is really determined to knock me out of it. Okay. Alright, we got this. We got this going on here. Okay, so this is missing a circle. So, I'm gonna draw here. So, LR. I'm just gonna draw as best I can the circle with this 
You would think that a joystick like this would, would, uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a good thing they did. Oh, man. All, I, I'm glad that all my uh, all people that uh, work with me at Disney Quest, <laughs> I mean Disney Quest, at Disney didn't see me draw that, that uh, oval there, because that was, that was a horrible oval. <laughs> oh, uh, Master Joshua, you should be aware that I have calculated 80% probability that a secret flame lights beyond this flake. Okay, so that wasn't too hard. Yeah. Well, that was a terrible, that was a terrible oval. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay. So we're here. So this is the lake we should go to. I'm guessing. Dive right down here. Uh, is there any save point? Did I miss a save point? No. Or did I? Did I miss a save point? Let's see. Yeah, there's one that's really far back. I don't feel it. Oh, well, no. I'm sure I can be there and back again. Or anyone who wants it. So. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Okay. We're gonna go save it. Just, you know. If you if you've ever played a Zelda game, obviously you know. That, uh, it's always good to save as frequently as possible. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, so yeah. So, I was talking about my history with the Zelda franchise. Um, so, I actually remember playing the original Zelda, um, on my NES back when I was a kid. The problem was, when I was a kid, I was more into, and I, I, to be honest, I, I still really, I'm pretty much the same way, I really like side-scrolling games because I believe side-scrolling games give you the most control, and I like kind of controlling my character uh, when I play video games. Like, I like full control over my character. I don't like it when they limit, limit the amount of control you have on your character. Um, so I like to have control of my character, and... Um, even though Zelda gave, like, a phenomenal amount of control, uh, the problem was I didn't have, like, the map or anything that the, the game came with, because I got the game uh, used, um, and uh, I had no idea where to go. Plop. Um, so... No idea where to go or what to do, and so it kind of got bored. And so I tried to play. Um, cool, new place. Uh, so I tried to play uh, Zelda 2, um, and I actually enjoyed it a little bit more. However, I never quite uh, got into it as much. Um, so it, and I actually, because I wasn't too fond. Of, uh... Okay. There we go. Now I got it. Okay. Uh, because I wasn't too fond of Zelda games because of uh, my experience with the original, um, I actually skipped out on um, A Link to the Past for the NES. Oh. There's a person. Thing. There's like an umbrella. Heck, another human. Jelly. Is that supposed to be like jellyfish? Okay, okay. Just have to avoid eye contact and back waist them. Here I can see you. So let me go over there. And then can we do I'm just gonna follow him and try to see. There we go. You know, uh, to this day I still have not found a uh, little side note here. To this day, if you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell her excellence, the water dragon, about your incursion. So in other words, I should go. So, uh, so I skipped out on, um, uh, didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're going to be able to follow me now. Ha <laughs> ha. So what now? Are you going to act, going to cry? 
think you're gonna make it through, just go ahead and try. Okay. I can't get my sword. Okay. Let's... I still haven't figured out how to... How do you, um... Oh, there we go. I can do that. <laughs> um... What was, I saying? what was I talking about? I don't even remember. There we go. Um, so yeah, I skipped out on uh, Link to the Past. However, I did get the Game Boy game, and it's actually my first Game Boy game was Link's Awakening. Wait, that's a water dragon scale. Does that make you an emissary of the goddess, like the water dragon said? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her exit. What's wrong? Yeah, about that. It happened recently, really recently. This weirdo came in a gang of monsters and went right up to her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter. Boy, did she gobble up most of those monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there were so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all the creatures managed to wound her. He's healing up right now, but she says she'll. She, she says, ah, wow. We don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So, could you please go talk with her excellence and see if you can help her? I'll even take you to her following. Um, so yeah, I skipped out on that and then I played... Then, the first game I played since then, uh, after that, was... Uh, was Ocarina of Time, and Ocarina of Time blew me away, honestly. Uh, it was a game unlike any other thing I've ever seen in my life. And I honestly like, I love that game to death. And that's what really got me to huh? It's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here. And the path is blocked with a huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? Let me go save this. further. There we go. Okay. So, I started playing Operator Time. I absolutely loved it. I got Majora's Mask. Um, I wasn't, I didn't fall in love as much uh, um, with Majora's Mask as I did um, as much as I did uh, as much as I uh, fell in love with uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. However, I did enjoy it, so I continued on from there, and I played Wind Waker. I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed Wind Waker. And I still, to this day, think it's probably one of the best stuff games. Uh, you can all fight me on it, I don't care. But... <laughs> I really do like it. It's a it's a great game. Two years here, relax just step ahead. Hold it this way. So, uh, Windmaker was a great game. Then, I believe the next game in the series was Twilight Princess, which I got. I actually waited to get it on the Wii. Come on, come on, hurry up. You can't go through the humans and your bones. Talk about inconvenience. I guess you can leap over the wall if you want. I don't have to. Leap over the wall. Was oh, that the friend he was talking about? It's a human person. Do you know how to do a spin jump? Spin up towards the water surface. You can leap right out of the water.
Alright, so we're gonna go back yeah. first. Let's put it down. It's a distance. Alright, then we'll move up. Before we hit the surface, we that was good. <laughs> wow, perfect jump. I call you amazing, but I think we both know it was the water dragon skill that made that little stuff possible. Whatever, dude. Where are we going now? don't remember this dungeon. I honestly... I, well, I guess you can call it it. kind of like it. What do you guys think? Do we consider this a dungeon or not? I don't know. There's a save point. There we go. Save there. There we go. Save it there. So... Yeah, I still have not found a game that with a swimming mechanic that I like yet. Like, it's not a game that, that I have, like, I've ever had a swimming mechanic that it's like, yeah, that was pretty cool. I actually felt like I was swimming, you know, I just can't, I don't know why. Oh, that's a that's a thing. Put that back. The one of the fish that weirdo brought in. used to attack her exits. Watch out, they're mean. That's what he did. I think I know what I have to do. Oh, that is definitely not. Oh. There we go. I did it. That was easy. Oh, that sure knows how to pick them. Did great. Pick seahorse, octopus thing. At last, we're here. the door there or just gonna all right we're excellent the water dragon is just up ahead so hang on for just a second his head his head for key i'm gonna call him does he have a name i don't think he has a name what do you think his name should be i think his name should be Herman. he sound he looks like a hermit i feel he's just jelly f jelly f i'm gonna call him Herman. This is Herman. He looks like a Herman. What do you guys think? Does he look like a Herman? I think he looks like a Herman. I don't know... What... I mean, I don't really know what criteria a Herman is, but I feel like that is should be his name. I feel like his parents probably gave him a really bad... Uh, bad time. Uh with the name that he was given. So I'm giving him a new name. I'm calling him Herman. That's right, his name is Herman. Oh. Ah, uh, there you are, human. You intruded into my home, a sacred place you are permitted to enter. This is no place for such as you, and yet you don't understand. You will explain how you get here quickly. Water dragon? I am the... I am, but those matters address me as Faron. Faron? Faron. Herman! Yeah! Herman! <laughs> Warden of the Woods, and I was pointed by the goddess herself. Through my current stature, is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say. Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of Huh? 
Say, oh. that's one of my skills you have. Sacred gifts such as that can only be carried by the mm -hmm. goddess's chosen hero. But could you really be him? I don't believe it. This raises questions. Even with that scale in your possession, finding my hall is not an easy task. How did you find me? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Crackling old hermit Kiwi told you where I live, did he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told the scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. <laughs> I, um, I don't think I was supposed to tell the water dragon, but I guess that just happened. So anyways, oh, but I digress. You've come here seeking the sacred flame, have you? Of course! <laughs> you it. I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. Just <laughs> a test is in order. Who have you change everything that you say you are? Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature called himself Gary. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Gary. I stood against the self proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. <laughs> Stubborn. The wound he's given me are stubborn things. I've been forced to recuperate in the basin of this sacred water. Fortunately, the healing properties of the water have diminished, and now I need another dose to freshen up my health. Oh. Bring me a container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me a favor, and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred desire. What do you say? You got it, dude. The I am analyzing the water remaining in the basin. Excellent. I can now help you douse with the water type I'm searching for. Great. Master, you have wisely elected to carry on an empty bottle. Use it to carry the water you seek. I'm going to consider this a dungeon. No, it doesn't really feel like a dungeon. <laughs> Continue down this way, you will find an exit back into the woods. Oh. Excellent. Now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. No, one does not. Actually, oh. keep a dragon waiting. Being a dragon fan myself. Alright, let's get going here. Let's... Can you believe it's almost been an hour? Oh my gosh. Can't. Oh, it's only been half an hour. What am I saying? Half an hour. I've been on this for half an hour. What am I saying? I'm not even saying the right things here. That's okay. Here we go. Here. Okay. See, I can't tell you how much. Let's go. Uh, Herman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Into the water. All right. Let's go down to wherever this is that we're supposed to. Okay. So we're here in a new area. Go saving. Save. Oh, yeah, butterflies always. Save. Cool. Get it. I did it. Oh, yeah. They say drawing a symbol of love upon certain walls will heal your wounds. I don't know how to do that, but okay. Heal my wounds. Okay, so it looks like the water is over here.
Okay, what you got for me, Fee? The faster I have information to report. By my estimates, you are currently suited, situated in the southwest area of Farlong Woods. Please confirm your location with the map. Okay. I have confirmed it. UV. Go back. Go get that water. Unless the water is this way. Which. Sense. Oh, this is another bug I don't have yet. Yeah! Alright! Grasshopper. Wait. This way. This way. Okay, let me just make sure that I'm not supposed to go this way. Okay, I am supposed to go this way. Let's go... Let's go beat up tons of fun over here. Wanting to press, I can't keep wanting to press the uh, slice button from the thing. Sorry, from the uh, breath for a while. I know these guys would be so much easier to fight than the Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> I think Hyrule Warriors is still the longest I've ever played a game here on the stream. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think that's true. Not sure. Because I believe we did like 11 weeks with, with uh, Hyrule Warriors. And I might actually go back to it because there's a DLC uh, now for Hyrule Warriors. Uh, looks like it's up here. It's, So this way. Uh, there's some DLC that uh, just recently dropped that I, I might I might try out. Uh, so I can go this way. If it was this water right here, that'd be weird. That'd be weird. That's so weird. The water. Let's see, sacred water. Okay, I'm going the right way, I guess. I hope this is not one of those little time things. Have to do where you have to get water and you have to get it over there with a, like a certain amount of time. Alright, I'm swing on this thing here. No, nope. get, get on the thing. Get on the thing. We got, we got, alright, we got this. We got this. <laughs> we got the tools. We got the talent. Yeah, here we go. Alrighty. The tools. We got the talent. So, should be this way. I still have yet to figure out. Get away, bees. Get away, bees. Get away, bees. Get away, bees. They like you. Get away, bees.
Trogon took care of all y'all. <laughs> oh, well, that was dumb. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's alright. Wow, okay. Oh, that's where the sacred water is. Okay. So... We're gonna need to find... Plop. Uh... No! <laughs> I'd rather be... I'd rather be over the edge than have to deal with them. Okay. So, we can't... Get over there. That is definitely where the sacred water is. But... I don't have a rope. Do some scouting. See if that'll work. There's rope here. It's supposed to be. Rope. Around here, let's see what's up. like there's a way over there. We just have to get back around. So let's do that. Party the force. Ah, no bees! Bees! Not the 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 bees! Leave me alone! I'm trying to just live my life! Go away! Go away! I'm just trying to live my life, man! <laughs> Thank you, Amy, for the uh... <laughs> Help with the commentary. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention for two seconds. Alright, there we go. Oh, alrighty. Come here. Alright. Here at Joshua Wonders. Another one. Come out with a point. I, I wonder if why they didn't just make the sound effect. Why they had to. Gathering spores causes something to happen, and they are thrown on bugs or monsters. You can. They can be collected from sparkly mushrooms. Interesting. Oh no, not the bees! Not the bees! Not the bees! Why? Why? Go away, bees! Go away! Go away, bees! I swear this game is trying to kill me, like actively trying to kill me this whole time. Like, and I don't mean that in like a, oh, it just wants me to lose kind of way. I mean like a, like, it's actively just trying. And to destroy that beehive. 
Boom. There. B's gone. Be gone. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Be gone. I have puns. Alright. So I'm actually supposed to go over there, right? There's a save point over there, so I'm gonna only have to go there. Oh. Is there any anything besides I don't know. I'll probably get it on the way back. I think I'll just not just are in uh, Breath of the Wild, too, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Honestly, I could be. I think so, though. Anyways. There we go. Got some more seeds to shoot. Ooh, I think. Wait, thanks. Killed him and he also hit me somehow. Alright. He who descended from above, look to the stars, right to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon, and aim your shot there. Okay. To the star that the bird above gazes upon. Okay, so gotta find a bird besides the save point. So I think I've gone over pretty much my history. I mean, that's pretty much there from the ah, uh, there. I, it's pretty much done from there. I, uh, I didn't play Skyward Sword until after. Um, I enjoyed Skyward Sword, uh, story-wise. I didn't really care for it control-wise. Oh, uh, some of the portable games. I loved Oracle of Seasons and Ages. I played both those games. Um, I also played, I played Minage Cap, but I never finished it. Um, I am not a big fan of either Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks. Uh, neither of those games, I like the control schemes either. So I didn't play through the whole thing. Uh, I really need to indicate the presence of a secret water within the temple. Unfortunately, it is not possible to use your dowsing ability. Based on my calculations, I estimate the water is located in the deepest part of the temple's complex. Of course. I recommend using the X on your map to guide you revisit, uh, revisiting the deepest area of this temple. Great enemy presence in the vicinity uh, than I previously observed. You will wise to proceed with caution. So, just be careful. And I think that's fine. That's fine. We got this. We're fine. We're fine. We're all fine. Oh, God. I hate you. 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 I will have to admit, though, this temple looks an awful lot like the last temple that was in. At least this hallway, anyways. So...
that's weird. Yeah. Hold it. You're the guy. You're that guy. That guy I met in the volcano. Oh, oh it's you again. You have to do some treasure hunting, too. Ah. I called it. You got a treasure hunter written all over your face. Oh. That big stone guy up uh, out there tip you off to the loop, too? Stone guy? No one's beating me in the sweet loot pile in this place. Yeah, sweet loot. Sweet loot fruit. Is this the one where you can draw a heart and it gives you a... Yeah, okay. So if I drew a heart... It's gonna look a really bad heart, but it's gonna be a heart nonetheless. There. Heart. <laughs> I got bombs instead. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but okay. That's cool. I'll put that. Um let's go this way. I wanna go this way. That's where I'm going. Wait. Okay. Yeah, this looks an awful lot like the dungeon I was in before. Maybe it is. It's, it's possible. Possible, but... I mean, it's not impossible. Yeah, uh, this is the same. Sweet, sweet rupees. and I have to go and lose it. <sighs> just can't remember which hole I hit. <laughs> Key for anyways. I can buy a trunk full of those things once I find the treasure I'm after. You like to talk out loud, don't you? Thank you. past him just yet. You don't have to go the other way around. Here we go. Whee. Oh, come on, man. Start swinging. Do a little spin jump, maybe I can get down. Here we go. Oh, wait, let's throw a button. Here we go. I'm trying to get here. We go. Me. All right. Yeah. That. Oh, 
So apparently, from uh, some sources I saw, which take it or leave it, I don't really put a whole lot of stake in things I find online. But apparently, they have like, uh, a rumor going around. There might be some more Zelda anniversary stuff coming, uh, probably next year, and that would be really cool. But I'm okay with if they don't do stuff. I like Zelda. I and it would be lovely to have like a lot of the other Zelda games here on the Switch besides. In a room with two glittering gemstones, you'll find a temple map. Tip on it until you find an X. I believe this is that that first dungeon that I was in. I think they put me back in the same, same dungeon that I went in. Beginning. And the batter, they just. This just looks the same. I don't know, I could be remembering. I did not open that treasure map, so yes, this is the exact same map. But it looks like this is where I'm supposed to be, so I'm just not going to question it. Oh, by the way, during the stream, if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, or something I should check out, or any secrets that I might need, uh, let me know, because... Uh, Like I said, I've played through this game before, so I'm okay with, uh, getting a little help. Nope, that's definitely not going anywhere. So I guess there's a secret water in here? I've known that before I would have gotten the secret water while I was here. Let's go. That's fun. <laughs> Thank you for that pro tip there, uh, sweetie. It's a yell, Leroy Jenkins, yeah. I will remember that when I jump off of the ledge. Thank you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's become kind of like video game history now. <laughs> The gemstones are struck one is above and one is below. Yeah. Okay, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe underwater. Let's, let's see. Yeah. Under the water. There we go. Can we go up there? <laughs> Don't actively jump off ledges and yell it. Okay, I will. I have to actually jump off a ledge, though. I'm going to find a ledge and jump off of it, and then I will yell. Hey, I found the key. Look at that. Hey, I found the key. Uh huh. Old guy. Got the key. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad that my wife is supporting me in all my endeavors. <laughs> Alright, let's open this door and see what we got in here. Oh! We got you! Remember I was with Chief? Yeah, go away, bat. That's right. Go away. 
Oh, oh, you come back. Come on. Bring it on. Okay. I remember this room. There's a lot more of those things in here. One last one. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Well, I got screwed. I don't even like waiting in line, which by the way, oh yeah, so, um, Defunct Land, one of my favorite channels on YouTube, they just posted a history of fast passes. Those of you who are Disney fans and uh, like the history of Disney, but also like want to know the intricacies of fast passes and line waiting, it's uh, really fascinating. And I, I'm, I'm not done with it just yet. Um, but even a guy who has worked at Disney for more than 17 years. <laughs> Um, I still am very confused by all of this. Um, it's, it really takes some dedication. So I applaud you, all those who know all the tricks and tips and whatnots to get fast passes and now, I guess, uh, was it? A Genie Plus now. I applaud you. For finding all of this information out. So. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't think I've ever gone to the parks. Like, I, I've gotten fast passes before. Um, but I don't think I ever... Like actively tried to get fast passes. I, I guess, I guess that partially because I'm a coaster chicken. And rather than I, I'm more of an experienced guy, I'd rather just go and just walk around the park and just see all the cool stuff around. I'm not really a ride guy. I don't do rides, which is funny because my father, my father is an Imagineer. And, uh, he, his job was to, to prove that rides were safe. So. <laughs> I just, I've just never been a ride guy, and uh, so fast passes never really were a, a huge thing for me. I don't mind being a ride. Like I grew up in a time where there wasn't any fast passes, and you just waited. For so it doesn't really. So, I don't usually, like, get fast passes or whatnot. Um, I don't even really know, like, uh, I know it sounds weird, but I'm not even really a big park guy. I just, I like to go when things are new, and I like the history of, of, uh, theme parks and stuff like that. Uh, that's always really fascinating to me. Uh, learning about how different rides were made, and how Created. Uh, but, like, the parks themselves, I'm, I mean, I guess it comes with the fact that I was born and raised here in Orlando, and uh, you just get, you know, you go to the parks like every single day of your life, you just kind of get bored of it. And I know there's like, man, 
I should have yelled Leroy Jenkins. That was a perfect time. And I missed that opportunity. I apologize, sweetie, for my... For my, uh... The fact that I did not do that. Okay. Ah, I... I'm going to shoot. No, come on. There it is. There it is. No, no. Pressing the wrong buttons again. Alright. Put away. DR. There we go. Alright. Blomp. Blomp. Alright, let's run. Run, 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 run. Run, run. 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 Oh no! Okay. Alright. This is what we're gonna do. We get out of there for range of fire. First of all. Second of all. Second of all. Oh no! I thought that mushroom was saving me! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The mushroom didn't save me! Curse you, Mushroom! Curse you, Mushroom! Oh, man. Dang. Curse your tiny toilet. Well. Let's see. You know what? I think... I know this is like a worse place to stop for the night, but I think... We're gonna go ahead and stop here for the night. Uh, it's almost nine o'clock. Oh, actually, it's past nine now. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here for now. There we go. And, uh, actually, right there. Yeah, there we go. So, we'll pick up here next week. Um, my head just go back to. So we're going to pick up here again next week. Uh, so I hope you guys will join me for week 10 of our stream of uh, Skyward Sword HD. Um, we're going to be trying to trek through. I might not actually beat the game. I might I might actually uh, jump on to another game for a while. Um, but uh, really all depends on what you guys like. So uh, please let me know in the comments or of this video or whatever you're watching. Uh, whether you guys want to see me finish Skyward Sword or uh, move on to another game, I can always do that. Um, I'm thinking a couple of games that I might uh, jump on to. Again, like Hyrule Warriors being one of them. Um, so please let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. And uh, we will see you guys next week here on Sunday Night Streaming. I hope you guys uh, had a good time playing with me uh, or watching me play. Uh, thank you guys for all the comments and for the interactions. And, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see you guys next week for Sunday Night Streaming. Bye, everybody.